Mr. Greg again from Heck Yeah, You Can Cook. And today we are going to make a simple chicken dish, buffalo style from frozen chicken, already seasoned. You just add a few items to it and it's a quick thing you can do right at your house. You're cooking from frozen. You do it as soon as you get home. There's nothing to defrost. There's no heavy prep, something pretty simple, simple quick that you can do. Well, this simple quick, I'm not sure. I think I just made up a new term. But you're gonna be making this and we're gonna talk about using these type of products to assist in your everyday uh, cooking life to save you from having to go out to eat so much. Well, I've got everybody's attention. Please like, share, and subscribe. We love having people join our channel every day. And check us out on all the social medias, including Facebook, and join our group there on the Heck Yeah You Can Cook. Today's tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a couple of wooden spoons, one for stirring and one for actually removing it. You can use plastic if you'd like. You're also going to need a nice kitchen knife because there's some light prep work that goes with this. Now the star and another tool you're going to need is I'm using my wok. You can use a frying pan. It's kind of easier in a wok. And I'm going ahead and I'm preheating this under a low temperature with the lid on um, to get it ready to go to cook as soon as we are ready to now, finish. Now the star of the show today as far as ingredients, these are Tyson's chicken bites. These are buffalo style. These are frozen. You're cooking from frozen. This bag is rather inexpensive. A large bag of this was like 12 or $13 at Sam's Club, and it's several pounds of the, it's already processed. And you know, I'm not a big processed food fan, but I know that people get in a hurry. You don't have to worry about, you forget to defrost that you have it in. You can make this rather quickly. Now I've got a pound and a half of it right here. You've got that ready to go. And I've also got one tablespoon of avocado oil. Because and the have. two other items I have, now I have a bunch of uh, scallions here, green onions. And we're going to show you prepping them real quick. I'm going to move this out of the way so I can zoom in. Now with the scallions, you're just going to slice all the way up. All right. And so I'll show you the quick method to do it. Just kind of put this in. Now we don't want the what I call the octopus heads here. We just cut those off. And you can do three at a time and just go slice it up. Now, if you not have a green onion, you can use a regular onion or a shallot. And that was a whole bunch, so I didn't show you cutting all of them. I'm just gonna put them right in there. I like the green onion because it adds color to the dish. Pretty much the same flavor, just adds a little more color, a little more texture. And now, I buy this bag of sweeties, they call them, or uh, they're just mini sweet peppers different colors, different varieties. I can usually get three or four meals out of these. It's about five, six dollars at the grocer. And they do sustain very well if you keep them in the packaging in your refrigerator. So I've taken four or five of those right now. Actually, this is the fifth one. And I'm gonna show you how I slice it. Now these, because the seeds are estimated, are just about a thumb length or a half inch from the top. I just cut down there and usually seed free. We have no seeds and just kind of slice across. Make sure you've cut all the way through. We're done with the prep. How about that? I'm gonna move the camera, show you us cooking in the wok. Okay, I've been preheating my wok for about four or five minutes here. And we're gonna show you a little secret, little life hack here. A little water test, take a couple drops of water. If they evaporate, you are ready to go. Now we're gonna take our avocado oil Add that right into the bottom of the wok. Now you can do this in a frying pan. I just like the wok for the simple reason that you have more space to work with when you're stir frying this kind of stuff. In go the onions. Behind. And in go the bell peppers. Now we're not adding any seasoning to this. Now I do, because of how we're cooking this, I will add just a pinch of salt. I forgot to mention that in there, but that kind of stays by my stove top. We're gonna pop that right in. Taking our handy wooden light spatula thing, Pampered Chef version, in my Cutco wok, and this wok is from Cutco. You can see already why I like to use this combination. Look at those colors. How appetizing is that gonna be? We're gonna kind of work that around, get that avocado oil worked on there and we are just going to let this cook stirring frequently I'm going to say for about three minutes just to get it nice and softened and to add that flavor from the peppers and the onions into the oil okay everybody three minutes has gone by 
Heck yeah. Nice and soft the dish. It goes in the pre-season chicken frozen. Fresh to frozen, not cooked from Tyson. See, it's hard as a rock. All right, and that's okay. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little patience here. Got those onions going in the bottom. We're gonna put our lid on. We're gonna set a timer for two minutes. And we're gonna come back and it should be nicely defrosted by then. Make sure your temperature is moved all the way to low because you don't want to burn the vegetables. And then we'll come back in two minutes and check it again. I didn't mention this as a tool you'll need, but always, if you're cooking chicken, have your probe thermometer ready so we can get to that magic 165. Two minutes has gone by. You see the chicken pieces have separated. And as this starts to frost in here, cooking from frozen, remember that. You gotta have a little patience, but you know, on a weeknight, you can check your phone, check your mail, check your email. You see, we're starting to get that separation, so we're gonna turn it to about number two, very low heat, okay? Not going to fry it. I'll use to put it between two and three, and I cover it again. We've started to defrost, we turn it over, and we'll come back in three minutes. Okay, everybody, three minutes have gone by. You see this chicken starting to separate. It's a little bit frozen there. That's okay. The biggest thing you want to do is have a little bit of time. Like, so again, once again, you get this started, it's going to be simple and easy. It's going to make your house smell good. And you're not going to have to stress. Man, there's some pieces in here. Push down a little bit. Just let that go. Everything seems to be coming together nicely. Got a little browning going on. Got that big blob in the middle. We're going to increase the heat just a little bit. You know, you kind of play it by feel as you're watching this cook. I got it on level four now. Now I'm going to cover again. We'll come back and check on it again in about three minutes. Three minutes have gone by and our patience is paying off. See the chicken pieces start to break apart. Turn it over off the bottom a little bit. Instead, you've taken care of a few quick errands in that three minutes while this was cooking. You didn't stand over it. Those stirring required. Look how pretty this is coming out, everybody. Heck yeah. Kind of turn the darkened pieces up and the light side down so we get them darkened. Now, though I had a little bit of scraping to do on the bottom, you saw there. What I'll do now, turn the heat down probably to about two. That's just Mother Nature's way of telling us you're cooking a little too hot there, Greg. Just chicken all the dark on all sides. Turn it over carefully. We're gonna cover one more time. Turn it down to about three, which is low, medium heat. Cover. And this time we're gonna go four minutes, and I think it'll be time to check the measure, the temperature. Four minutes have gone by, and I cannot tell you how good this smells, everybody. Once again, looks like these chicken pieces are just about done. We got rewarded for our patience again. Now, at this point, I cook, you see, see the pink pieces, and I'll check just to make sure, and I'm thinking some of these pieces are about 120. I've got a few pieces that look pink. Maybe I was, there's one. You see that piece right there? You don't want to pull this out until we get all these not pinks. That's only at 120 like I thought. We'll turn that over. Now I'll cook uncovered for about three more minutes and we'll be stirring it frequently at this point. This is when it becomes a little labor intensive. We basically have just thrown it in here and covered it up. Turn the heat up just a little bit. And I would stir every 30 seconds or so until we get no more pink visible and several random pieces are at 165. Push any pieces you think aren't done toward the middle, toward the center of the heat. Another good rule of thumb, if you start to hear it sizzle a little too much in the bottom, Time to stir, move it around. Okay, we have checked several random pieces. And we have gotten consistently 162 to 165, a little bit over. So what I do now, push it all together so it maintains that heat. Turn it off. And then I cover, keep some of that juice in there. We're gonna come back in two minutes, all right? And we were then we'll plate it and serve. That. Look how pretty that is, folks. Cannot tell you how good it smells. 
And tonight I am serving this to my lovely bride, Lou Ellen. She's getting this with, these are my potatoes in the microwave, little parsley potatoes. We're going to serve that right with this chicken. Tyson pre-frozen uh, chicken, we're going to call it my buffalo chicken with scallions and bell peppers. Cooked from frozen. Hope everybody enjoys. <laughs> 